One thing that I think we can all agree on is that the best element of the Star Wars universe is how injured people get. Oh it's my god, it's absolutely. crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy good. <laughs> crazy <laughs> fun for us, the audience. It seems like they're having fun most of the time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, don't think about... I mean, if those characters were real and no, not the no, horrible, that, just really sad, then just, just gruesome, just just limb loss. And oh my god, fed yeah. to big monsters, <laughs> presumably trash compacted a lot. All of know? these things happen. Yeah. So what frostbite? Are, frostbite. Yeah, happens. Hurt feelings. Hurt feelings is a big one. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. So what I want to do, I want to go through some characters from Star Wars who are the most injured. <laughs> great. It's debatable in terms of the order of these, so mm. I just I've just done it randomly. You okay, know what I mean? Cool, great. Some are legends, some are canon. Some all are of losers. Star Wars. Some a lot of them are losers. Also, we're talking severe injuries. Limb loss, it doesn't count. You get oh. a fake You get a fake arm, you're okay. on your way, mate. It's not a big deal. I know Luke lost a hand, he got a hand back. Anakin lost an arm a little bit higher. Mm, it's a little bit worse, but at that point, that's not the worst thing that's going to happen to him, is it? Just leave it at that. Also, leave a like. Sure. Let's start on Darth Vader because that guy's a shit show. He's an absolute mess, no matter whether you're talking about canon or legends. Or hurt feelings. That's right. Well, that's so true. I'm just going to go through some of the things that have happened to him. Bearing in mind, this isn't everything. Okay. Also, he gets electrocuted quite a lot. <laughs> so he's got no limbs. Ouchie, wouchie. <laughs> oh, God. He lost one, and then he lost the other three to Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. He's a real, uh, he's the real black knight of... Um, he really is. Monty Python and the Holy Grail of Star Wars. he keeps going? Yeah, he's still yeah, He's committing to it. His skin is is mostly gone. Mm. You know what I mean? It's it's just burnt to a crisp. He has to live in that eggy. He does, doesn't he? He has to live in his special eggy. <laughs> I know he has to have like back to treatments because he's constantly getting bed sores. Yeah, like and in, yeah, and like infections and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. like his skin's a nightmare. Also, that ding in his head. Uh, you you see, he doesn't actually get that on Mustafa. Oh, he gets a crack in his head on a door frame, <laughs> like, <laughs> like that stormtrooper. <laughs> well, it's actually it's not that. I, I, I think it is in Legends. They have to do that thing where they have to drill a hole in his head to relieve the pressure. Oh. So uh, on his brain. His lungs are burnt to a crisp. They're mm -hmm. pretty much unusable, which is why he has all the mechanical breathing parts. He can't sleep properly because of the sound of his breathing. And he has a big meal before bed every night. They say don't <laughs> do that, but he does it anyway. He doesn't care. One of the things that they mentioned is that he can chew. From his x-rays, he's got teeth. Okay, so, terrific. you know, that's something, isn't yeah, it? Small right. mercies. Yeah, yeah. And also, and you see this in Return of the Jedi when he gets electrocuted. The top few of his vertebrae are completely replaced. Oh. And it's not really clear when that happened because he keeps getting injured. It's it's an ongoing yeah, thing. Right. And he's like an old car that you should throw out. Yeah, You're yeah. He's yeah. like, okay, I could probably just tweak this. One he's a lemon is what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> he probably sat down in a massage chair at a, like a shopping mall and he just put in his coin and he sat down and he was like, oh, those last three vertebrae, yeah. they just went, oh no. <laughs> They're just gone. Let's talk about Dengar though. You know okay. Dengar? He's got the bandages around his head. He's got the bandages around his head. Do you want to know how he got those? No. Well, here we go. So in <laughs> Legends, uh, he challenged a young Han Solo to a speeder bike race. Oh, on and, and, and Han Solo was like, no thank you, and he blasted him in the head. <laughs> that would have been like a more merciful situation because what actually happened was, so during the race, Solo brought his swoop down directly over the top and in front of Dengar, burning his face in the swoop's exhaust and then locking the repulsor fins of both swoops, the manoeuvre sent Dengar flying off his swoop to crash headfirst into a crystalline plant. One crystalline stem directly impaled his brain, leaving him with a condition uh, so perilous that only the Empire's doctors had the ability to repair him to a near natural state. It also, seems cruel of Han Solo. Did he try to burn him to death in that situation? It seems that way, yeah. And Han Solo got to live on, like yeah. being handsome and cool. That being said, he didn't live longer. So I'll talk about that in a second. Oh. So Dengar was then kicked out of the professional swoop bike racing league for engaging in an illegal race and was abandoned by his friends on, on the team. But here's the thing. He also showed up with a number of enhancements in The Rise of Skywalker. So to remain competitive, he kept upgrading himself. And this is what he looks like. Whoa, <laughs> that guy's barely recognisable. He's an and he's, and he's not wearing that. He's a big eggy. <laughs> It's a big eggy. Is that the theme of this video? Maybe. I guess it is, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have to wear the bandages anymore, though. No, nah, he's just like, this is what I am, I guess. Mm. So, gross, and no thank you. Yep. I'd rather be handsome Han Solo if, <laughs> if I was him. I don't know. You'd take those years, wouldn't you? I mean, you get skewered at the end, but you keep your face and hair. That's right. And that's yeah. all right. You go when you want to go, <laughs> skewered by your son. <laughs> so there's a bunch of cybernetic dudes, one of which I want to go to in depth like one of the more popular ones. But there's Valance, who was recently made canon. He's a bounty hunter. Holy Valance? <laughs> no. Ah. He's a bounty hunter character. He lost all his limbs. 
in, in a crash. Uh, and became ha- a big eggy. Became no, he, he's still quite handsome if oh. you look him up. He's got like a half Terminator esque face. His, half, his face was destroyed, and then the Empire. Well, the doctor was like, "We're going to have to give you the half Terminator." And he's like, "Yes, <laughs> cool, no eggy for me." And then they said, um, "You're also you're fired from the Empire." Oh, yeah. So there's Ton Fernand. This was sent by my brother, okay. the one you don't like, who knows mm. a lot about this kind of thing. Uh, he was a rebel doctor injured on Endor who was allergic to Bacta, so he had to go all cybernetic. Wow, all right. Yeah. And then there was Admiral Trench from the Clone Wars. His body just keeps getting ruined, so he just keeps like stacking cybernetic stuff on top of it. Huh. But who I actually want to talk about is Grievous. Now, Grievous didn't always look like a Grievous. Huh. He was a Kalish, like an alien warrior. There's shades of it still in him. Does that sort of alien warrior have a bunch of arms? Uh, that's a great question. Isn't it, though? Here's a picture of it. Oh, huh, it has now, the, we, now we know. Right, it has that many arms. <laughs> so what happened to this guy, right? He was in a shuttle crash, and all that remained of him in terms of his original body was his brain, his eyes, several vital organs, a spinal cord. There's a small amount of flesh that could be seen around his eyes. Uh, the armor and synth skin gut sack, Ugh. the one that Obi-Wan shoots, that protects his remaining vital organs, but his organic lungs were irritated by the implants, and so that gave him a persistent cough for the rest of his life. So he's like as cybernetic as you can get. He's a sack of organs in like the yeah. front of a face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? at that point you'd wish to be a big eggy. <laughs> Agreed. Ah, uh, now you're looking good as a grievous, I think. And you got all those party tricks. You got all those Although tricks, I mean, mate. spinning a lot of lightsabers. Do you think it just gets to a point in Star Wars, you just be like, just keep the face and the heart, and just the rest of it is fine. Just get rid of it all. It's fine. You know what I mean? Rather be Han Solo, to be honest. Fair enough. Here's the most extreme one, I think. Uh, Bib Fortuna. He's, yep. he's Jabba's henchman. He's always yeah, like, yeah, right, right. Jabba, Luke's here to see you. And he's like, I fucking, I said, don't. This is clearly a trick. <laughs> so I'm die. Yeah. God. In canon, he's dead. He exploded. Okay. In non-canon, he escaped. He took a skiff and he went back to Jabba's palace. And uh-huh. he's like, sweet, I'm going to take over. I want to be the new crime lord, right? But here's the thing. Oh, tentacle head. Yeah, tentacle head. Uh-huh. You might have noticed at the background of Jabba's palace, you see like a spider walk past and it's got like a big glass sphere with a brain in it in oh, the background. Yes. They're a set of monks that live within the palace okay. for some reason. Okay, it's sure. Star Wars. It's not really important. Right, so what they did after he took back everything from Jabba, the monks took his brain from his body and placed it in a spider droid walker like themselves and that's what he had to live with. For a time, oh. then he managed to convince him to put his body back in like another Twi'lek, and then he was just off, okay. off doing his crime. Put mate. me in Gary. Yeah, give me this. Gary's guy's like, body. wait, what? Yeah, so he's he's home free. He got a brand new body, which is that's like worst case scenario, best case scenario. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. So good for him, Lobot. This he's is, got robot ears. We know. Well, it's not just that. Lobot may look like a, you know, a he's bald man with robot ears. With robot ears, but it's not just that. So. The new canon of Lobot is, and you should read the the um, bloody Lando comic. It's bloody terrific, mate. So during his time with the Galactic Empire, that's who he was with initially, he had some cybernetic implants uh, put on the back of his skull and ears, which meant he could make battlefield calculations, right? Cyborg Big Eggy. <laughs> it's so true. Strategic ge- genius Big Eggy. Yes. <laughs> so, so basically the idea is that you get these implants and it trades personality for... Raw processing power. Yeah, productivity essentially. But the idea is that... If you kind of lose... really, It's a real Elon Musk, this guy. Oh, he really is, isn't he? Like a shit bloke. Yeah. I know he's got big, weird fans that come and defend him, but, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is that these things will take over your mind if you lose focus. So you've got to kind of constantly be pushing back against them. Oh. Anyways, he gets injured. Mm-hmm. And as he lays dying, he kind of loses the will to push them back and the implants take him over. Lando's still like, we're mates and you can have a job with me. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, he's essentially, he's gone. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. looks like Lobot, which probably wasn't his original name. <laughs> or it was, I don't know. Here's his original name. There it is. Larry Robot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but yeah, he's, he's, it's a bit of a horrific story. He looks it? like a, he looks like a, a man, but the, the yoke is, the yoke is, has been corrupted it's all by him. scrambled. Yeah, 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 exactly. Here's one that's not so bad, but it has uh, ongoing ramifications. Okay, And also on. plays very much into the Mandalorian, which means I can. I can hashtag this the man alive. Nice, line. you're not lying technically. I'm not lying. I mean, I always lie, but not in this one. So Boba Fett, when he went into the Sarlacc, right, it yes. was a bad time for him. Mm. First of all, the Sarlacc like made fun of him for a real long time because wow. it like tortures you like by digesting you, but it also talks to you and it's like, "What's up? Uh, you're trapped, and I hate you." Well, like Boba Fett, it said. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Well, actually, I keep in pretty good shape," and he's like, 
Yeah, but I've seen some pretty trim people come down here, mate, and you're <laughs> not even in that league. That's right. Yeah. I mean, sure, most of them have sucked all the nutrients out of their body <laughs> and turned into ske- skeletons, but... Uh... Exactly. So he did manage to escape, but what happened as a result of him being in there and all the acids and such and, you know, just being in that terrible place, it resulted in developing cancer, right? So it altered his metabolism. It also ate one of his legs. We had to get a cybernetic leg, which he hated. It was it was no good. So he was constantly trying to like buy an upgraded leg. This is non-canon, by the way. Who knows oh. how much of this will be worked in? So he's, he's saving up for a clone leg replacement. Okay. Right? But he couldn't afford that because of his expensive cancer treatments. And you know, because he's not a very good bounty hunter. One of the worst bounty hunters <laughs> there is, yeah. I know there's some comics where he's doing amazing things, but uh, yeah. we're talking strictly of what we've seen in live action. But yeah, I'd imagine he's always chasing that dream of that cloned leg. That's you know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Also, I think it took all his hair, including eyebrows, judging by the Mandalorian. So <sighs> Fate worse than death. Singed that right off, mate. The last one that I want to talk about, let's get serious. Let's get real. Oh, I thought we were getting serious and real for this <laughs> whole thing. <laughs> let's get more serious and more real. Okay. Because it's important to remember, and again, my brother reminded me of this, not all scars are visible. That emotional damage we talked about. Exactly. Yeah. Padme Amidala. Is dead. Died of a broken heart. Yeah. She was like, I, I'm sad because Anakin, I mean, he was never a good dude, but he kind of went all the way. Yeah. And like, I just, and even though I had kids and that would obviously... You'd think enhance my will to live. No. Mm, no. She was so sad that she died of, of a broken heart, I guess. Which I think is... I mean, it, there's no effort in that, is there? That explanation, no, really. Because no. also, what I think may have happened here was they didn't want him to actually go all the way and choke her to death. Because then he's irredeemable. Exactly. You know, the character, the evil character <laughs> of Darth Vader. <laughs> the irredeemable character. Who stood by as, as the, the Empire destroyed that planet, sure. Exactly. Don't and, want him to be a bad guy. And on top of that, you can't be like... She died in childbirth because they're sort of in the future and they've got yeah. special mm. special robots with big scoops to catch babies. You've seen yeah, it? Yeah. The Woosa robot. Yeah. Can you imagine the whiteboard that they had in like the Lucasfilm offices that is like, ways we can kill Padme, <laughs> but it's okay? <laughs> Question mark? Yeah. Look, if you've got an idea of like, who's, who's someone real injured from Star Wars? Because there's a bunch of them. Leave it below. I'd, we'll do another video. Why not? I'd be curious. Who's the most emotionally damaged person in the Star Wars universe? It might be Darth Vader. Maybe. He doesn't hate himself enough, though, if I'm honest. Maybe like he's Dexter Jetster. Maybe he's a sad background we don't know Could about. Be. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, just remember, it's 2020, maybe, when you're seeing this. Maybe it's 2021. Maybe it's 2019. <laughs> How'd you do it? <laughs> How can we get back there? We want to know your secrets. Take care of yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not all scars are visible. That's right. Even if somebody's not like a weird cybernetic egg. You can still be kind. You don't know what people are going through. Maybe somebody's I'm working a- in messages. I'm doing that now to every video. Maybe somebody's a big egg on the inside, you know? <laughs> a real big, sad eggy. You know? Oh, this is like an episode of, like, Masters of the Universe where exactly. you, got, you got the moral at the end, yeah. Yeah, like, hey, we may have smashed up a big cybernetic egg this episode. <laughs> but, but don't remember- do that in real life. <laughs> Anyways, this has been uh, a video that we do here. That's Videos right. here all the time. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, so if you do want to subscribe, that'd be great. But also, we have a, a service. It's a wonderful service. It's called BigSandwich.co. Yep. Early videos go there. We do movie commentaries. Our podcast goes up there, The Weekly Planet, which we do every Monday where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. But it's ad-free. Yeah, that's right. We have a bonus podcast where we talk about horrible clickbait articles. Yeah, that's right. So that's all there. If you do want to sign up, there's a huge back catalogue. Uh, so, you know. We can go to BigEggy.co. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I don't think it's real. You could buy it. Yeah, you could buy it. It's and yours. then you direct it to anything. Yep. Something bad. <laughs> Something real bad. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching this. I appreciate uh, it. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.